That is the serious job of an actor, is about that ability to bring the reality of truth into performance. And now let me tell you, there's a big difference between being real and being natural. Being natural, and this is one of the things that um, in method acting, people will say that the, uh, the actors are just being very natural. And, you know, that's not really what it's about. I mean, me natural, you know, we could get anybody up here right now and get them to be natural. Just don't act, be, be relaxed. That's being natural. But being real is a completely different proposition. Being real requires you to bring your own reality, to bring the reality that we see around us onto the stage or onto the TV and film set. So you really need to think about that. Ellen Burstyn was recently quoted as saying, the difference between being natural and being real is the difference between being asleep and awake. Think about that. But seriously, that is the difference. Being able to tap into that and bring it into the work is key. So method acting is all about being 100% believable. It's about being truthful. It's about bringing a depth an understanding to the work that goes way beyond just a, a notional value. It goes beyond people imitating what emotions are like. And that's what we get a lot of the time. If we turned on the soaps, we'd see a lot of actors what we, doing basically what we would call imitation. They know what the emotion looks like. They raise their voice, they furrow their brow, they shout, and so on. But that's just an imitation of emotion, isn't it? Unless the actor's actually experiencing it, they're faking it. And let me tell you, there's what we would call micro-movements that happens on a person's face when, a, you know, when they're experiencing certain emotions that cannot be faked. Cannot be faked. So you have to be going through it. And that's what the top actors do. They go through it again in order to bring a level of believability that cannot be faked those micro-movements of the faces and of the eyes that couldn't be rehearsed. They have to be in the experience. Actually, and it's not just about that. It's also about the excitement of acting. Method acting should be, you know, it's about bringing out that impulsive, that, um, the unknown, um, that, those moments that are just happen in the moment and being impulsive and exciting. It's also about that. Because the work should be exciting to watch. Otherwise, why produce it? You know, would people pay to watch you? You have to ask that question. Do they know what you're going to do next? Is it predictable? In which case, if it is, we need to get out of those realms and into something a bit more exciting because it's far, you know, e easily possible for everybody in this room to start to access that. But it tends to be the thing that requires a lot of work. So people go, well, maybe just imitating it is easier. Yeah, it is easier. It's also not as good. 